This is the Census 2020 Net Migration Visualization powered by Plotly Dash and Rapids. It's an update to a 2010 Census Visualization, and we have a couple new features that we'd like to show off. Now, like before, it's using Data Shader to render each individual of the United States down to a single data point and to a resolution of a census block. Now, this is about the size of a city block in dense regions. Right now we have the area around Denver, Colorado selected, and you can see the density here of individuals, as well as the race distribution, the largest county selected, and the smallest county selected. Now we're able to do these queries very quickly for the entirety of the United States because it's all using GPUs. And so we're able to follow kind of our train of thought and arbitrary queries and kind of follow the train of the data instead of waiting on queries. So these are all taking under a second versus using a CPU, in this case, Pandas, um, the queries take substantially longer. Now, again, this is used in the exact same data set, the exact same query, but because it's taking so long, I'm sort of losing my train of thought. I kind of forgot what I'm trying to query and um, kind of that friction is going to make me the less likely to kind of investigate the data in a kind of natural intuitive way. So that took 23 seconds. Doing it back on GPU takes under a second. So with this uh, new visualization, we have a couple of other data points um, used. So in this case, we have population with race, which is a kind of interesting perspective in the United States and the diversity of regions. We also have a perspective on migration in, migration out, stationary, and the uh, most interesting is net migration between 10, 2010 and 2020. Now, if you um, kind of see the entirety of the United States in this viewpoint where Migration in is blue, uh, migration out is pink, and stationary is green. You sort of see an overall pattern per census block for the United States. And so um, most of the east is pretty stationary, except for a couple of um, hot spots. There's a lot of migration going on over on this side, especially in the plains and the coasts, which is very interesting. I'm going to zoom into the Bay Area, just because it's an area I'm familiar with. And I'm um, going to just see what pops out visually. So pretty quickly, you see these kind of interesting pink streaks. Um, and I was curious about it. So I looked it up. And after a bit of investigation, it turns out these streaks follow the freeways. And it's an artifact of the data set. So previously, in 2010, the freeways were included in the neighboring census blocks. But in 2020, the freeways were broken out into their own um, census blocks. And so that kind of had an effect of looking like migration occurred when it didn't. So another interesting aspect of viewing the data in this sort of perspective, uh, in this resolution, you get to see where new development has occurred in the span of 10 years. And so you see these large blocks of development happening um, in you know, it looks like there's lots of these big development projects happening over the course of the years, but for the most part, most people are kind of stationary um, and it's not that much development relative to the population. So I'm just going to do a query here of around 2 million for the general region and I'm going to compare it. So most of this is Santa Clara County. I'm going to compare it to another region, in this case, Portland, further north. All right, I'm going to zoom out, find it. Now, I'm just going to eyeball it and do a selection of roughly the same size. So this is a slightly larger population of 2.3 million, but we'll, um, we'll compare it nonetheless. Pretty close. Um, but yeah, right away, you can see that um, there seems to be more development. But more importantly, it's much more diffuse. Um, you can see it all over there. And um, it's not like concentrated in like one massive block development, but um, kind of all over the regions, especially relative to green. And especially in this downtown area where there just seems to be a ton of development. 
Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, quickly, you're able to you know, spot patterns and compare and contrast them with different regions and sort of what the policy decisions over the last couple of years have affected on the distribution of populations and individuals. So like before, this is all available on GitHub. It's all open source. And so if you uh, have access to a GPU, um, particularly a nice beefy one, uh, you'll be able to play with this um, just like I am here. And hopefully you can find some interesting patterns as well, since we think it's a pretty novel perspective on the US census data. So let us know what you find and thanks for watching.